Greetings, unsettled souls, and the song I'm looking for has absolutely vanished. You are listening to The Correct Views, Sam I. B. DeGange reporting for the Media Speaks, and why might that be? Why might I be reporting for the Media Speaks today? Because, oh yes, listen to that. Yeah, time for the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Oh, yeah, for those of you who might be somewhat new to the show, once a month, I do the Dunce Cap of the Month. That is the stupidest story that I have found in the entire month. And uh, we got it right here. We'll put our dumb D music on pause for a minute, but trust me. It'll be coming back. Uh, many of you know what I do. This I do the runner-up stories. I had a computer. It's taken into a, uh, the repair shop to get its upgrades done, made possible by your donations. The correct views at hotmail.com. And um, unfortunately, the bookmarks that I had saved are on the other computer. So I've got two stories. I've got one runner-up, and then I've got the dunce cap of the month winner. Uh, the the uh, runner-up here. Cyclist arrested for videotaping cop during red light stop. <sighs> for those of you that don't know, it is not illegal to film police officers doing their job. Photographing and videotaping anything in public view, including federal buildings and the police, is legal in New York City. There's a link proving it. As long as the documentation does not impede any law enforcement activity. Nevertheless, plenty of people, including journalists, continue to be arrested and harassed by camera-shy NYPD officers. Will Paybera, a 24-year-old New Brooklyn resident, says this is exactly what happened to him in late March when he was stopped for running a red light on his bike and then arrested for trying to videotape the officer with his cell phone. When I tried to record my interaction with the officer, I was arrested in 10 seconds flat, he told us. You can see that interaction quickly play out in the video below. This is how you cost taxpayers money by losing these cases, because it was not illegal what Mr. Paybera did. It says he's a designer specializing in lettering and typography, told us that he stopped on the morning of March 20th while biking west on Houston Pass Broadway. He says he was stopped by Officer Rich on the 10th Precinct, who was in an undercover cop car after he admittedly ran a red light. Pebera took out his ID and immediately started taking video of the cop as he approached him. After those 10 seconds, I was pulled off my bike, pushed up against a metal fence, placed in handcuffs, and put into the back seat of a car. They joked and said that they were going to handcuff my bike to a tree. Well... Paybar adds that he is an avid biker and used to be a bike messenger, and this is the only the second time he's ever had a run-in for the law. The other one was speeding. Uh, the point is, when this goes to court, and I'm pretty sure it will, um, what's going to happen is the taxpayers of New York City are going to be paying a lot of money for this guy. And why? Because he was done wrong, and he deserves to win the lawsuit. Because it is not illegal to film police officers. That is a correct view. And friends, that does it bring us to who won the dunce cap of the month award. Oh, let's get the music going. Dum 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 dee dum. It's from the truth.com, Michael Snyder. You won't believe the method that Common Core is using to teach our kids subtraction. And might I add other things? Um, I've heard people complaining about the Common Core thing, um, but the more I study it, the more I see exactly why they are complaining about it. Um, it's not just that it's indoctrinating, which it is, but it's that it's long-winded and all but useless. So, uh, again, we're going to go on to this article that spawned the Dunce Cap of the Month Award winner. It says here, the old-fashioned way is 32 minus 12 equals 20. The new way, this is how they're teaching our kids. 32 minus 12. How do you figure it out? If you don't do it this way, it's considered wrong. 12 minus 3 equals 15. 15 plus 5 equals 20. 20 plus 10 equals 30. 30 plus 2 equals 32. If you add 3, 5, 10, and 2 up, you end up with 20. 
which is the answer. What? I understand the the critical thinking skills involved, but no, this is uh, this is not the way to teach those skills. It says the dumbing down of America is accelerating. The massive federal takeover of education, known as Common Core, is attempting to impose nationwide academic standards on public schools throughout the entire country. Thanks to the backing of billionaire Bill Gates, who's been part of many questionable things, endless promotion by the U.S. Department of Education, and financial bribes to state governments by the Obama administration, 45 states and Washington, D.C. have already agreed to implement the full Common Core standards in their school. Fortunately, these standards, uh, unfortunately, are doing the public education what Obamacare is doing for health care system. That is to say, absolutely ruining it. Just look at how basic, ma basic math instruction has changed. Easy for me to say. Posted below is a comparison between the old method of subtraction and the new method of subtraction that is taught in many schools. And when he first came upon it on Facebook, he thought it was a joke. It's the one I had just read to you. I thought that there was no possible way that this could be real. I really thought that this must have come from some sort of parody website. But it's actually true. Here is another example of this. The following is an incredibly bizarre common core math problem and the response by one very frustrated parent that has gone over the entire internet. And you would have to see it. But it says, uh, Jack used the number line below to solve 427 minus 316. But you have to find his error and then write a letter to Jack telling him what he did right and what he needed to do to fix the mistake. But they wanted him to solve it in a way that added a bunch of other numbers to it and subtracted another numbers away and when he correctly solved it it was still considered wrong it says um listen to these requirements a requirement that students understand place value for instance that a 100 can be thought of as a bundle of tens called a hundred that students be able to add and subtract within 1,000 using concrete models or drawings and strategies based on place value and relate the strategy to a written method. Also, uh, that they understand that in adding or subtracting three-digit numbers, one adds or subtracts hundreds and hundreds of tens and tens and ones and ones, and sometimes it's necessary to compose or decompose tens or hundreds, especially the way that they're teaching them to do it. That they explain why addition and subtraction strategies work using place value and the properties of operations. And that they can represent whole numbers as links from an O to a number line diagram with equally spaced points corresponding to the numbers 1, 2, etc. And present whole number sums and differences within the 100 on the, one, on the number line diagram. Here's another example of one. Add 26 plus 17 by breaking the numbers up to make 10. Use a number that adds to 6 in 26 to make 11. Since 6 plus 4 equals 10, you should think of it as 17 equals 4 plus 13. Add 26 plus 4 equals 30. Add 30 plus 13 equals 43, so 26 and 17 are 43. So you might just say, all right, well, look, America sucks at math. There are, there's other ways we can do this, Sam. You're making a big deal out of nothing. All right, how about English? Let's see what English does. This was given to a fourth grader. Now, I don't have a problem with this. When I was, when I was in the fourth grade... I was allowed to watch things that were more adult than this particular paragraph. However, my parents probably would have found it rather alarming if this was put in a... Let's listen to this. this they send your kid home with this, and they're going to ask, why is Ruby affected by the hair clip? How has the hair clip affected Ruby's relationship? And from where did the hair clip likely come? Well, let's hear the story. Ruby sat on a bed she shared with her husband holding a hair clip, and there was something mysterious and powerful about the cheaply manufactured neon clip that she was fondling suspiciously. 
She didn't recognize the hair clip. It was too big to be her daughter's, and Ruby was sure that it wasn't hers. She hadn't had friends over in weeks, but there was a hair clip, little and green, with a few black strands of hair caught in it. Ruby ran her fingers through her own blonde hair. She had just been vacuuming when she noticed this small, bright green object under the bed. Now their life would never be the same. She would wait until Mike returned home. Why in the world are fourth graders being taught lessons about husbands cheating on wives? Again, this is the sort of thing that does make you wonder. And again, I'm not a purist. I'm not saying you need to keep that kinds of things out of school. I'm not saying you should burn those kinds of stories in the streets. What I am saying is that we have a rather substantial problem here when this is the direction that we're going. And so needless to say, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award is going to the Department of Education. Christelle here has designed our Dunce Cap. I thought of the idea, and she did a much better job than even I had thought. There it says Dunce for my low deaf viewers right here. And here we have, I'm going to show you this so you can at least see the number tree that is going on here in red. And, uh, you guys live. All right, here we go. Two plus two, she wrote. First, make each number 2,000. That will be 89. So we 2,000 plus 2,000 equals 4,000. Take the 4,000, divide by two. Now minus 1,000. 2,000 minus 1,000 in the south. And multiply the sum by four. Add 1,000 times four. It equals 4,000. Multiply that answer by two. 4,000 4, times two is 8,000. Divide by four. 4 divided by 8,000 is 2,000. Minus 1,000 from the answer. 2,000 minus 1,000 is 1,000. Divide by 2. 2 divided by 1,000 is 500. Minus 496 from that, and 500 minus 496 is 4. See how easy? Oh, yeah. Dummies. That's why you win the dunce cap of the month award. And there's the old way. Yeah, 1 plus 1, 2. All right, guys. I'm going to read to you... Let me make sure that all my people here on the uh, low def are actually seeing this properly. I made that. And now you guys in high def. Yes. Here's what you wrote. The Dunce Camp of the Month Award. In the age where the average student could not possibly be expected to detest the subject of math to a greater degree... You fools at the Department of Education have found the worst possible method in the history of teaching and use that very method to teach our children with. Add to this the rather questionable topics found within the standard English lesson, as we pointed out, and it becomes clear that no one has earned this award nearly as much as you and your common core. Nice little superimposed dunce cap there on my logo. That is going to be set along with this beautiful dunce cap, to the Department of Education for implementing Common Core and uh, thus enforcing it and winning this month's Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Thank you for... <coughs> Pardon me. Thank you, friends, for listening. It is the correct views. Sam I.B. DeGange signing off. Do me a favor. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Look up the work of Kyle, Court, D. Lake, and myself. We're posting all the time. Uh, massive Fukushima updates all the time. I want to thank Miss Milky the Clown for linking to that and getting us a lot of traffic. Um, please donate if you can. You can do so at the correct views at hotmail.com. Every penny that you give to me goes towards a better show, which is, of course, brought to you by the writer Mike McLaughlin and the delicious restaurant, the Arcadia Grill, located in downtown Canton.